As well as mobile gaming, the app economy is in the spotlight here at GMIC, Silicon Valley's largest mobile conference. The event draws the creme de la creme of the world's telecom industry to San Francisco to focus on the future of mobile. On display, hardware like smart wall plate, a streamlined docking station for charging phones and tablets, mobile games and applications galore, including Swing Profile, a golf analysis app. With more than a million applications now listed by Apple's App Store and Google Play, it can be nigh on impossible to decide what to download. That's a problem French-Israeli entrepreneur Uriel Ahayon aims to solve. It's very easy to find which are the top selling apps. Uh, you just go to browse the top ranks and you see which are the hits. But if you want to know which ones are right for you, for your own needs on a day-to-day -day basis, and how to filter which are the good ones from the others, um, it's not enough to go to the App Store. You need a third-party voice or third-party voices that will give you objective recommendations. Ohion's company, Apps Fire, filters apps to work out if they're relevant to a particular user. Recommendations can also be powered by friends. The teams develop technology that ranks applications according to their quality rather than popularity, making better apps more visible. Ohion used to work in venture capital and founded the French version of tech news website TechCrunch. He says his diverse background has helped him to appreciate how products must be adapted for different markets. You cannot just take uh, one app and recommend one app in one language. It's just not enough. You need to adapt yourself to what, what is relevant to the country so that the recommendations that you are powering are not just localized in terms of language but also in terms of taste and local culture. An estimated 82 billion apps will be downloaded this year. Any developer must make theirs stand out from the crowd. Ohio recommends using both free and paid marketing from the get-go. Every app has its own channel to success, and that's what makes this marketplace so incredible, is because everyone has its chance from the moment you have a good product, and that from the moment you dedicate enough energy to not only designing a good product, but also marketing it. Retaining an audience is one of the biggest challenges for app developers. Through a service like AppsFire, they can get feedback directly from their users to help steer future improvements. As most customers don't want to pay for apps up front, for the majority of developers, they're not cash cows. The trick is to harness the power of advertising and in-app purchases and to make your app discoverable and memorable. Rebecca Bowring, JN1, San Francisco.